We start with the breaking news here from Ukraine, where riot police have moved in on the capital's main square, the main site of anti-government protests. So the pictures behind me right now, these are live. Now, the opposition claims this is an attempt to disperse the crowds, but the authorities insist they're only trying to remove barricades blocking traffic in the center of Kiev. RT's Arena Golushko is at Independence Square, now joining us live here on the program. Arena, good to see you. How is the operation going? And uh, I should ask, what's been the response so far from protesters? Well, it's, uh, the operation is, is in its uh, fifth hour at the moment, and uh, goodness knows how long that's going to go for. At this point, it looks like we are at a standstill. We have uh, riot police and internal military forces uh, from one side, and then we have the protesters from another. The whole scene is rather surreal, I must say, because you, have, you still have the concert going on here. Uh, in fact, the so-called storm, the advance of the police, has begun exactly when the, uh, one of Ukrainian's top artists was performing on the stage, so she's kind of emceeing the protest right now. There have been some minor clashes. Uh, there has also been report of uh, tear gas being used. I haven't seen any of that. However, we have seen a, a protest throwing remnants off the Christmas tree, which was here in the, the square. Throw, we have seen them throwing those uh, pieces into fire and they're plastic, so there's this horrific uh, scent in the air coming from the fir tree, which doesn't make the air any uh, more suitable for breathing. Other than that, we know that at least four policemen have been hurt. That's according to the Ministry of the Interior. We also know that some of uh, the protesters have also sustained minor uh, minor injuries uh, during those uh, skirmishes that we have seen. But other than that, I have to say at this point it does look, uh, well, I'd say peaceful if we can use that term when it comes to a standoff between police and uh, some several thousands of people and there's more people coming in because uh, there are several people tweeting and saying that uh, encouraging uh, Kiev residents to come out on the streets and they actually have been doing that well Catherine Ashton's also in uh, in town right now. She has arrived in Kiev last night. She has already commented on the issue, saying this is unfortunate that uh, it seems that uh, the Ukrainian government has resorted to the use of force. Um, at this point, however, um, it, like I said, we're still waiting apprehensively at how exactly the situation will solve itself, because it doesn't look like there's any movement whatsoever from one side or another. Well, my colleague Paul Scott has actually come, has actually been down to the barricades while they were being removed and brings us this report uh, from the action. The protesters have, right up until now, uh, resisted using force against the police. The police have forced the protesters back. We are in the heart of Independence Square now. We are really are at the heart of the protest movement over the last few weeks. So far, as I say, protesters have uh, resisted using force. The police have forced them back. And as I say, it seems almost certain that by the end of this evening, the authorities are determined not to have any protesters left in this area. Now, if you take a look just to my right-hand side, you can see that's exactly where uh, the barricades were. That's, this is the area that the protesters held. But right now, the police have pushed the protesters back. Now, the police have formed a barricade here, as you can see to my left-hand side. Right now, we're in the area that has been predominantly uh, the area and uh, the, the, the region of the city that's been held by the protesters over the last week or so. But it's quite clear that the police want to try and clear this area. But for some reason, they've stopped where they are right now. The protests on stage are continuing and we're left with another slightly tense standoff. Yeah, that was our artist Paul Scott right there. Now, the West has already expressed outrage at the actions of the Ukrainian authorities. A U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry called them unacceptable. Now, high-profile figures from the EU and the US came to the Ukrainian capital yesterday to meet the opposition and the government. But Alexander Makouris, a legal expert and blogger, he says it's more a case of meddling in internal affairs rather than trying to find a lasting peace. I cannot actually imagine such a thing. I, I try to imagine a situation where, let's say, there was a riot in uh, uh, central London um, or, or a big protest in central London, and let's say somebody from a foreign country, say Russia, came along and attempted to negotiate between the protesters and the government. It seems most 
strange to me, I have to say, and I wonder whether it's at all wise, actually. It, it seems to me that um, when outsiders involve themselves in the affairs of a country, which they don't always understand very well. <laughs> Let's remember Miss Ashton doesn't speak Ukrainian, she doesn't speak Russian. Uh, uh, she's probably not very familiar with the political, internal political situation in the Ukraine. One wonders what possible compromise or solution they can help to. And a political analyst, Alexander Pavic, he believes by taking sides, the West risks uh, turning the Ukrainian standoff into another Yugoslavia. Uh, actually, we have experience of this. This is the same thing happened in the early 90s in Yugoslavia. The West took sides. Uh, it took sides of Slovenia and Croatia. And what happened? We had a civil war. It took four years for it to actually die down. And I, I'm seeing a repeat of this, unfortunately, in the Ukraine. I don't see the West having learned anything from it. And repeating the same sort of policy, to me, that's just not something that's conducive to any sort of peaceful outcome or it's not showing goodwill towards the, the people of Ukraine as a whole, unfortunately.